I actually, I don't know what just happened. Okay, yeah, there we go. So I guess he would be sitting here. Jake, that, that was extremely dangerous. You could have hurt my friend, Mr. Alpaca. Yo, if I want to hurt Mr. Alpaca, I want to hurt Mr. Alpaca. You hear that? Nope. The reason I came in here and the reason I shot you. No, 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 it wasn't for this. It wasn't for that. Ow, okay, stop. Logan, what is this? What is this? Look at this. What is this? What is this? What is that? Gravity. That's right. Gravity. Gravity is our number one enemy. Right. Today, it's what keeps us on the ground, Jake. Yeah, it's know, what I keeps know, us safe. But has anyone ever done a challenge to beat gravity? No one has beat gravity before. And today, Papa Jake is destroying gravity. Just like you should destroy that like button as well as the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell button so you never miss an awesome video on the channel. But Logan, I thought it would be sweet today to build our very own homemade parachutes in an attempt to beat gravity. You may have seen people drop watermelons. You may have seen people drop eggs. But today, we are also dropping an egg. And then ourselves. What? Maybe not, maybe just Logan. Okay, well now, now that we're out here, I can properly explain what is gonna be going down. Yeah, Jake, to be, to be honest, I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, I'll explain it to you using this handy dandy whiteboard we got here. Now the challenge is gonna be broken up into three parts. The first of which will be throwing an egg off of the balcony. Now me and Logan both have to make a parachute for this egg in hopes that he travels to the ground without, well, cracking. The second part will be throwing a watermelon. Much bigger, much heavier, and will require its own system. Maybe a parachute, maybe a bubble safe landing underneath it, or wings. I don't know how we're gonna do it. Now the third and final part to this challenge is the hardest. We are gonna be sending a life-size dummy composed of a watermelon up here, a jug, of water to give him weight down at the torso. Now this is gonna be the hardest because we not only have to make a parachute that's gonna get him down to the ground safely, but also is large enough to actually work for a real person. Now we're using a dummy because, well, we're not dummies and we're not gonna jump off of the roof ourselves. Back to you, Jake. You can use any items you want to build it, except for a real parachute. That would just be cheating. I am so excited to be part of Papa Jake's experiment. That's right, Pieter. You are a very important part of this experiment. Now, this isn't what I'm gonna be using for my design. In fact, the parachute I'm building for this challenge is super top secret. We're not letting Logan know about it. You ready, Pieter? Here he goes. Woo! It worked! I think it actually may have just worked. Yeah, no, it, it did. Cut the camera, you can see Pieter's guts on that thing. Just cut the camera. Okay. I, I think he Pizza. lived, Jake. Oh, dude! Wait, 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 wait. He's alive! That, that's, that's, that's supposed to be like that. Oh, no, 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 look, look, that's not fair. He hit this metal bar. For the most part, I think if he hadn't hit that and maybe a little bit over this way, he would have survived. The sun is going down. That's not getting any taller. We need to head over to Home Depot and get our items to build these parachutes. Wait, Lo Lo Logan, this is not Home Depot. We're at Toys R Us. Why are we at Toys R Us? Did I ever say we were going to Home Depot, Jake? No, but I did. How are we gonna buy a parachute Jake, at Toys R Us? Who's driving right now? All right, guys, Logan has for some reason brought us to Toys R Us, but honestly, I cannot complain. I am quite the fan. Guys, do you think it's cheating if we just literally buy a drone and hover the egg on top of it? I don't know if that'd be like cheating the challenge or not. Okay guys, so there's actually another reason why we came to Toys R Us and that is because we are doing a video with Jurassic World and they said that we could come here and buy any toys we want. As many as we want. I'm gonna get like all of them. Yeah, I want this one. I want this one. Ooh, this one looks cool. Oh, I want the drone. All right, we'll get a drone. Maybe another one. <laughs> So we just got out of Toys R Us and we have all of, well, most of all of our supplies we're gonna need to protect our eggs, our watermelons. We are also doing a big version of this challenge where we have to try and make a parachute for a life-size and human weight dummy, which is why we're going to Home Depot because we're gonna need big stuff like a big tarp and I'm not gonna say the rest of it because you're gonna copy my idea. Okay guys, so we just got home and we are now downstairs at the official crafting table where we'll be building our parachutes for all the different food. We got some melons. Oh, be careful with that, man. You don't want to drop it. We're gonna be dropping enough melons when the time comes. But I've divided our sections up into two different places. So Logan, you're gonna be building over here. I'm gonna be building over here with all of my stuff. And then we'll test each item as we finish it. We also got the eggs, guys, but I had to put them over here because you know how the eggs are, okay? Hey, eggs. Eggs, how you guys doing? How are you, how are you doing? Yeah, no, no, I, I, I know, I know. Yes, you're all gonna get picked. You're all gonna get picked to go on an awesome adventure. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, it's gonna, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. We're still not telling them what they're doing. Okay, so for my <laughs> egg drop. <laughs> what, wait, what are you doing to BB-8, bro? He's gonna protect my egg. I can't watch this. You can't. This guy's performing surgery on BB-8. You're getting all right, BB-8 down below. All right, so we have our slime. Oh. Okay, all right. Okay, and we're gonna wrap the egg in slime, like a, okay. like a protective I'm just gonna helmet. say, you might have copied me. I don't know, you probably saw me picking up slime in the store. I didn't see anything. All right, I, just, all right. I knew, oh, look at that, guys, an egg. Would you ever know the egg's in I wonder here? if you just dropped Ooh. it like that, Ooh. if it would. Whoa. All right, now you're gonna put that in our poor BB-8? Okay guys, and our egg is safely stored inside BV-8. He is good to go. Jake, what are you doing? Well, for mine, I'm using this. Now, it's not a BV-8, it's a uh, puzzle ball of some sort. It's made out of like a, like a memory foam kind of material, and it's a massive ball that's also hollow. So, similar to Logan, because he copied me, I'm gonna be using some of this Nickelodeon slime to surround my egg in a cushiony, safe, slimy blanket, and then I'm gonna put it in here. Once it impacts, it'll break away, slime will stay intact, and my egg will live while Logan's cracks. Place your bets in the comments, BB-8 or Jake's puzzle ball thing. It's not puzzle ball, all right, he has a name. All right, well, I've got my Mr. Egg here. Oh, I'm so excited, I was big. Yes, he is very excited because he is going in my object, which is surely going to win. So, first things first, you gotta have a little slime bath here, buddy. Memory foam built into it, Logan, for extra protection. We get them all wrapped up in here. Wanna make sure it's an even layer. Look, dude, look at that. I could throw that off right now and he wouldn't even crack. There we go. Dude, I, I, I gotta say, now that it's all together, I think you're gonna lose. But guys, comment down below, who do you think is gonna win this? Cause we're about to do challenge number one, once I get this. 12 seconds later. Why don't we head up to the balcony and see who can win the first challenge. Wait, who's going first? You go first. I don't know if I want to go. I think you should go first because mine's going to win. So you might as well see the winner go last. All right, guys. Logan has his BB-8 Defender of the Egg. Ready? Place your comment down below. Do you think it's going to win or not? Three, two, one. Yeah. Oh! That sounded like an egg crack. I don't know. I didn't hear crack. All right, here we go. The egg that's going to live in three, two, one. <gasps> oh, I think it worked. What do you mean it worked? Well, look, dude, they broke away exactly as they're supposed to. It was not deflecting supposed to all do that. of the power and energy from gravity. Okay, thus guys. Saving the egg. Let's see. And so here's mine. So it broke away, deflecting all of the power. Then the slime shield activated with the puffy balls to save our egg. And 100% is. Yo! <laughs> Perfectly safe and ready to eat. Hey, what's that? That's not a crack. Oh. Now, Logan. If your egg broke, you lost the challenge. Scalpel. Poor BB-8, man. Here we go, the moment of truth. Oh. Okay, oh. all right, all right. The egg is fully intact. Oh, man. Wait, let me inspect this. It is. All right, well, I guess we both tied this first challenge, which means it's time to go back to the building lab, aka our basement and work on the second challenge, which will be making a parachute for the watermelons. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, it's gonna break. <laughs> it's gonna break. <laughs> it didn't break. Jake, this is your egg. Did you cheat? So now it's back to the drawing board. Logan, I have no idea what you're doing. You've got a ton of stuff over there, but for me, I know 100% I'm winning this one. Now the watermelon is inside the wobble bubble, but now what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be filling this entire thing with water. When this thing hits the ground, the water might break, but the watermelon will stay perfectly safe. Ugh. Uh, my watermelon's going to go in the bat. I don't, I don't really know what I'm doing. I, I don't really have an idea. It doesn't look like it's gonna live. I mean, it, if anything, it's just gonna fall out of the basket. So before we drop our watermelons, we're gonna drop a real watermelon to show you guys what happens when you drop it from this height so we can compare. Now that we've tested what happens to a watermelon without our protective gear, it's time for my wobble bubble design. Let's see if we can beat Logan with this and safely deliver our watermelon down to the ground. Jake. This is Uber watermelon delivery in three, two, one. Woo, woo. Oh, oh, dude, did it work? Oh, I actually, I don't know what just happened. 
<laughs> that was like the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Oh, I think it worked. Oh, what? it cracked. There's a crack. Oh, there's two big cracks. But at least it's not looking like this one. Okay, we have Mr. Watermelon here in his basket. I'm pretty sure this is gonna go better than Jake's. Zero cracks, let's do it. In three, two, one. Whoa. Whoa. One. Whoa. 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 <laughs> I think it did, man. No. Yeah, it's perfectly fine. Come on! Mine was cooler, yours just went blop. At least mine was like blah blah blah. That's one point for Logan, zero for Jake. So far, I'm in the lead with this challenge. Back downstairs and it is now time for the third and final challenge. So first off, we need to build our dummies. So I'm gonna be using these jugs of water and big old cantaloupes. Our two crash dummies are ready to go. We got Doug over here. Hey, how's it going? I'm so excited to be here. And we got Ted. I don't want to be here. Why did you give them such strange faces? Well, this one's yours, Ted. He's kind of sad. And this one's mine, Doug. Yeah. I like Doug. He gets it. Oh, the Jake, what? This is so heavy. There's no way we're going to be able to build a parachute for this. That, if your parachute works, then that means we could use them yeah, ourselves. Yeah, this is literally, this is like as heavy as me. Exactly. So that's why I'm going for a classic parachute design. I'm going for a base jumper style parachute. I got all my stuff here. I have no idea what you're doing. But I mean, this is the final round, man. Whoever wins, wins. Okay, guys, let's start building. <laughs> to be honest, Jake's uh. Dude, my I don't know if I got the parachute work. backpack on. This thing is military gray. Isn't that right, Doug? Doug's, Doug's super excited. And I went for a cliff jumping parachute. This is what they use to parachute off a small building. Yeah, it looks pretty good, I think. I mean, if there's one that's gonna work, I mean, yours is big, Logan, but I don't think it's gonna have enough time to catch it. <sighs> yeah, I mean, oh, that's that's heavy, man. I don't, I don't know. Guys, let us know who you think is gonna win. Put a hashtag Jake or a hashtag Logan. So whoever wins this, wins the entire game, even though Logan might have won the last challenge. Come on, Doug, you're coming with me, brother. Yes! Can you do it, Doug? I can do it, Jack! I know you can, Doug, come on! If it wasn't for the fact that we have to do safety first, I think I could actually jump with this. All right, on that note, guys, do not try this at home. Do not make a homemade parachute. Okay, yeah, there we go. So I guess he would be sitting here. All right, Doug. Should I give him like a, like a pep talk? There's not a lot that goes into this, quite honestly. It's gravity. You're just gonna jump and fall. But if you can, try not to explode on impact because I want to win this challenge. Okay, Doug, you got this. All right, here we go. All right. Three, two, one, go, Doug! <laughs> Doug! Guys, and that is why you do not make your own parachute. Well, uh, some good news and some bad news. It seems like his torso completely took the fall. But Doug himself is a... Oh, Doug's okay! Hey, Doug! So my melon survived, Doug's body didn't survive. If your melon cracks or even gets a single hint of scratches on it, I win the challenge. All right, guys, Logan has brought his uh, contraption out here. Okay, all right, so looks like uh, you're gonna have to throw all this at once, man. This is gonna be kinda tricky. I don't know if it's gonna work. He also doesn't have a backpack, so he's completely attached via this. So, I mean, it's, uh, it's gonna be interesting. And then get him in position. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, don't drop, don't drop him. Hopefully this uh, is a little bit better than oh, Jake's. Oh, boy. Sorry, buddy. I, I mean, it could work. There's still a chance. Ready? Last chance to place your bets, guys. What's gonna happen? In three, two, one. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> he sort of lost his head, buddy. He's alive! Yeah, he's fine! Oh, dude, is there not a single scratch on Not him? a single scratch. Oh, man. All right. Whoa. Well, oh, okay. All right. Uh, okay. Ah! You are going to have to comment down below as to who won this challenge. Was it Papa Jake with his base jumping parachute? Ah. 
Oh, watch out! <laughs> okay, yo, put that melon away! Or was it Logan with his weird parachute uh, dingy thing? Let us know down below. And of course, guys, if you like this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button as well as that like button so you never miss a brand new video. This has been Papa Jake and Melon Boy. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time for another awesome video. Oh, 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 oh,